This is Jimmy Wiley, owner of Keys of Scotland. He's the third generation of his family to make curling stones. Right. And his is the only company allowed to take granite off this island. Oh, really? What is it? What, what, what deal? I swear to God, listen, listen. I've got nothing against the English. I've got nothing against the English. Listen, I've got nothing, nothing against the English. It's just a, you know, it's just a bit of fun, right? It's just a wee bit of fun. Let me hear this guy. About the granite here in Azo Craig that makes it so ideal for curling stones. Well, there are two very unique sources of... Yes! This is the, the blue hone material here, which we use for the, the bottom surface of the stone, which is in contact with the ice. It's very hard and resists the abrasion of the ice, and it's also equally highly resistant to absorbing moisture, which could be a problem. This cunt makes me feel fucking English. Problem If moisture gets into the surface of a stone... This is backfired, man! Eventually it will freeze and expand and damage the surface of the stone. The other material is the common ailsa, which comes from the, the south end of the island, and that is much better at resisting the knocks and bumps that the stone has to take. So we, we, we get the best of both worlds here for a curling stone from Ailsa Craig. How long will this granite... I tell you who makes me feel English. That fucking Mario Lane Robertson, by the way. Give a shout out. She makes me feel ashamed. I call myself Scottish, man. Can I shout it for Marilyn, please? She makes me ashamed. I'm a cell. Shetlanders are Norwegian, nay Scottish. You don't say it like that. You don't say it, nay Scottish. I don't think, I don't, I, I don't, it, just, it depends. I, I think Marilyn uh, uh, would herself say that the, the, the Scandinavian Norwegian influence, so actually, he's actually too Scottish. Too Scottish. And there's no partly Norwegian. You want to be a wee bit it's very, very strange. It's very, this, it's very strange chemical formula. You actually need to be a wee bit English to be full Scottish. It's very difficult. You need to be a wee bit a lowlander, lowlander. It's very difficult. I, I really hard to explain. A wee bit. If you, if you're too Scottish. If you're, you can be too Scottish, and then that's you, it's like Iceland. It's like Iceland. Or Norway. You need to be, you need to be, like, right next to England, yet Scottish. That's Scottish. There's many, there's many, it's very complicated. I'll write a book about it.